And welcome to Only Connect, the show that celebrates oblique connections. I'll be providing groups of apparently unlinkable clues and asking the teams to trace the intricate connections that lie beneath them. Think of it as a sort of intellectual plumbing. So, let's see who's here to scratch their heads so they haven't got the right parts on the van. They'll have to come back Tuesday, then accidentally drill through a pipe and send a bill for three times what we were expecting. On my right, it's the mathematicians. They are Ruth Carling, who's got a maths degree from Warwick University, James O'Driscoll, who has a maths degree from Cambridge University, and their captain, Thomas Cochrane, who also has a maths degree from Cambridge University. No surprise, then, that they are the mathematicians. So, Thomas, what excites you all about numbers? Um, well, I think there are so many different sort of interesting numbers, but, in fact, maths is about a lot more than numbers. Well, the good news is that this quiz is only really multiple choice anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the mathematicians have got a classic battle tonight because they're up against the wordsmiths, who are Howard Pitsey, a business support manager with a degree in English, Bob Bunting, who works in communications using his degree in linguistics, and their captain, William Barrett, an IT developer, who also exercises his pedantic approach to syntax as a proofreader. Or at least I hope he does. So they're the wordsmiths. William, do you take a nicely rigorous, stern approach to grammar and spelling? Yes, I'm currently running a campaign against the misuse of reflexive pronouns. That's where I am at the moment. That's my kind of campaign. Let's see if you can put it to good use during the quiz. We'll be starting with round one. Why not? That's where I simply give the teams four clues and ask them to tell me what the connection is between them. But the fewer clues you need to see before telling me the answer, the more points you get. Five, three, two and one points available. But if you give me a wrong answer or can't answer at all, I shall throw it to the other team for a bonus. Mathematicians, please pick a letter. Uh, should we go for beta? Yeah. Beta, please. Beta, your first clue is coming up. When you want to see another one, shout next. Your time starts now. OK. Um, I don't know what it is. Bible. Is it a book? Yeah. Yeah. Bible, yeah. Next, please. Um, Dead Profundus. I haven't heard of that I don't know what myself. Um, it's a book. I, I mean, it could be sort of a holy work, I suppose. Written by some... Yeah, go to the next Next, one. please. I mean, that was, you know, okay. written by, yeah. That was, that was the Spanish book written by yeah, Cervantes. Yeah, Cervantes, yeah. Um, it was but one of the first novels. Yeah, should we... Ephesians possibly was the first letter. Should we go for the next, do you think? Yeah. Yes, yeah, good. Uh, next, please. Okay, Ten that seconds. Was, that was another novel. Should we uh, try literary first? Uh, allegorical, okay. I would say. Yeah. Or, uh, the last two allegorical. Um, Three seconds. Um, allegorical. How is the epistle to the Ephesians allegorical? I, maybe it has some allegories in there that St Paul is writing about. I don't know. <laughs> I'm afraid that's not the answer I'm looking for, so let's go over to the wordsmith to see if there's a possible bonus. They were all written while the author was incarcerated. That's absolutely correct. Bonus point to you. Epistle to the Ephesians while St Paul was in prison in Rome. De Profundis, of course, Oscar Wilde. Cervantes wrote some of Don Quixote in prison. John Bunyan wrote some of the Pilgrim's Progress in Bedford Jail. So, bonus point to you, and you may now select your own Greek letter. We'll try Gamma, please. Gamma, first clue coming up. I can tell you that this is going to be a picture round, and your time starts now. Could be. Next one. Tennis and Alice. Tennis and Alice. Kojak. Um, Anna Konnikova. Konnikova. Kojak. K. Name's going to be K, maybe? I think you better go to the next. Don't know. Next. Flat tire. Flat tire. Puncture. Um, Ten seconds. Pepper. Screens. Television screens. Flat. Come next. Oh. What are you saying? Television screens. Television screens. Where does the flat tyre fit in? Flat screen. Flat screen. Flat screen. I like it. And the others are? Telly yeah, Savalas. Telly Savalas. Yeah, yeah. um, not sure about the tennis player. but uh... It's rather beautiful, yeah. but I don't think you can make them all fit, and they must mm. all fit. So I'm going to throw it over to the mathematicians. I'll show you the last picture, the final clue. And can you tell me, yeah, for a bonus like point, the connection? Drones. Maybe. Because um, Anna is a palindrome. Okay. Kojak. I can't give you a long time to discuss. Uh, palindromes. And how would that be? 
Um, we think Anna is a palindrome, Kojak is a palindrome. We're not sure about the third one. Um, now, let me just stop you there. Kojak when you say is Kojak a is, a, is a palindrome... <laughs> oh, so it's not. <laughs> in your time dealing with numbers, <laughs> yeah. did, did the alphabet come up at all? Um, no, but I think O is different from A, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I believe <laughs> those days Sorry about that. I'm in a different place in the alphabet. So that's not the answer either. No, apparently these are all nicknames for poker hands. Anna Kornikova, Ace King, so called because it looks good but never wins. Kojak, King Jack. Flat tire, I personally had never heard that one. It's apparently Jack 4 because a flat tire is what you need a Jack for. <laughs> and American Airlines AA. So, you both gambled on the poker but you didn't get it right, so no points there. Mathematicians, please pick a letter. Alpha, please. Alpha. First clue coming up, and your time starts now. Happy Christmas. Christmas. I mean, it doesn't really exist, does it? Should we go for the next one? Yeah, um, we better quickly. Yes, next, please. Um, they're all going to be the same number when they yeah. calculate them. Uh, Ten to the minus one of one is... Um, I mean, um, it's like... Uh, how can we not do this? Is it 45? <laughs> uh, Should we... Next, next please. Next. Anything is it, I think it's pi. I mean, Ten pi. seconds. I pi, yes. OK. okay. Uh, pi. In a moment of relief, you give me the correct <laughs> answer and you will get two points for that. This was the, uh, the final one. Oh, my God, we got that one. <laughs> that could have been awkward, couldn't it? What do you think, Wordsmiths, would you have got that one? Of course, yes. Of course you would. It would have been easy. <laughs> Wordsmiths, please pick a letter. Zeta, please. Zeta, first clue coming up. Now, this is going to be a music question. The first piece of music is going to start now. You know when that shark bites my Scarlet below. Next. Can't you see I love you? Please don't That's wooden heart. Yeah. Um, it's not heart. Not life. Life. Something like that. Elvis originally. Um, uh, I can't I don't know. Know. Next. And blackbirds call so loud and sweet. Ten seconds. Folder A, folder R. Happy Wonder. Three seconds. I'm afraid you're out of time. So, mathematicians, I'm just going to give you a quick blast of the fourth piece of music that's coming up now. I have balloons, but it's sometimes sung in German. So, um, it so be colours or numbers? Uh, colours, because blackbirds. So I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to say that they're all colours. Not the correct answer. Mac the Knife was originally composed as part of the Threatney Opera with yeah. lyrics by Bertolt Brecht. Yeah, yeah. Wooden Heart, a version of Mussy Dane, the old German folk yeah, song. German yeah. songs, yeah. The yeah. Happy Wanderer, also based on a German folk song. And Neun und Neunzig Luftballon, they all had German origins. So, no points there. Mathematicians, please uh, pick a letter. We'll have Delta, please. Delta. First clue coming up. Time starts now. Fog. I mean, we don't know what it could be. Okay. Yeah. Next. Next. Equal by definition. Yeah, uh, could, there could be synonyms, could um, mean something. Three lines is sort of equal by definition. Yeah. Could that be fog as well, meteorological? Oh, I don't um, think we have enough... Co I should, should we, we should go, go for the, the next, next one? Next, please. MP's obligation to vote. No, I reckon it's got to um, be... There's going to be some phrase, some definition. Like some other word for them, that they all sound the same or something. Um, should we go for the next? Yeah. Next, please. Ten seconds. I think it's three lines. Uh, no. But yes, it is. Yes. Uh, three lines. Just as well that you, as captain, have that determination <laughs> to overrule your opponents. They are Sorry. all <laughs> represented by three parallel lines. MP's obligation to vote, of course, otherwise known as a three-line whip. Oh. You could have got That's three it. points oh. if you'd come in after two <laughs> clues. Yes. As it is, you've got one point, so well done there. So, wordsmith, that leaves you with epsilon. Your first clue is going to come up, and the time starts now. So Home Secretary invest other things in the government. Just move on. Next. Charles Clark, Tom Jones, um, Clark. Oh, no. Um, Tom Jones could be a novel, could be the singer. Next. Monty Palisar, cricketer, spin bowler. Um, Phil, oh, Phil Mont, no. Ten seconds. Next. Oh, oh, oh. Archbishop of Canterbury. 
I'm afraid you're out of time. It is rather a difficult one. Do you want to have a go, mathematicians? Um, spin. Spin. Are you accusing the Archbishop of Canterbury <laughs> of spin? Um, maybe, maybe Charles Clark. Uh, no, Charles <laughs> Clark, and I'm sure there's a different type of spin to do with the church. Maybe. There's uh, no spin <laughs> on the church. There is no man more straightforward. Funnily enough, these people are all former recipients of the award Beard of the Year. So at the end of round one, the Wordsmiths have got one point, but the mathematicians have got three points. <laughs> In round two, I will ask the contestants to work out the connections, of course, but then tell me what comes fourth in the sequence. The fewer clues you see before you can work out what would appear fourth, the more points you get, of course, five, three, and two points available. So, mathematicians, when you pick a letter, you will see the first in a sequence, and I'll be asking what would come fourth. Please select a letter. Alpha, please. Alpha, your first one coming up, and your time starts now. Street. Um... No, I don't know what that could mean. Oh, it could be like, yeah. Uh, should we go to next? next? Yeah. Next, please. Third Main Street. Are oh. these the most common, common names, names of street? Common names. High Street first, High Street. Um, Do you think it's going to be High Street? That would sound... That first, would seem... High Street first, most common. I think yeah. it's a gamble. Yeah. I think we should gamble. gamble. Yeah. Uh, first, High Street. You're absolutely correct, and your logic is also <laughs> correct. Second would have been Station Road, first is High Street. That is the most popular road name in the UK. So, three points to you. Wordsmiths, please pick a letter. Gamma, please. Gamma, first in the sequence coming up. Your time starts now. Tell me, Thomas. Uh, could be next to the apostles. Oh, it could be Thomas Duncan, it's Thomas Edward. Uh, I think Henry obvious. James. Let's go next. Next. Mm. Is it James? Is it James? Yeah. James. That is not the answer I'm looking for. Mathematicians, would you like to have a go? Let's go Gordon, I suppose. Yeah, sure. Um, Gordon. Why would it be Gordon? Um, we think it might be Thomas the Tank Engine um, characters. And what's the sequence? Um, the numbers um, on go. the yeah. one, two, three, number one, Thomas, number two, Edward, number three, Henry, number four, maybe Gordon. Ordered by engine number. You're absolutely right. The answer is Gordon. You didn't actually <laughs> know his engine number, did um, you? Um, we'd been discussing no, the car we actually, on the way here. We actually got this after the first clue because we were discussing it on the way here. <laughs> but we <laughs> didn't know what number four was, no. <laughs> so we had to guess. On the Sun way lucky. here, you were discussing this the characters in Thomas the Tank Engine ordered by engine number. We actually thought this might come up, but I know it sounds ludicrous. Now you have the opportunity to pick your own letter. Epsilon. Epsilon, first in a sequence coming up. This is going to be a picture round, so I want to know what you would expect to see in the fourth picture. And the time starts now. OK, some saint, presumably. Mm, but how would that be ordered with four things? No idea. Better go next. Yeah. Uh, next. Read the name of the saint, possibly. Next. Is that cutting something? Fish, fish. I think. OK. Mm. Scaling a fish. OK. Scaling. Um, it could be next? days of creation, light and one day, fish the next day. But that's pretty a bit Ooh, obscure. That's a bit, um, I think we should go for next, please. Who is that? Well, it's going to be a member of a band that we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't think of anything. Scale. I don't know. Fish. Crying. No idea. Scale. Go for a rest. Right. Time's up. Wordsmith, would you like to have a go? No. No, no. not a clue. If I tell you that the pictures are Joan of Arc, known as the Virgin Warrior, Virgin Scales, that band is the Scorpions, does that help? It's there is the reassuring idea. face of Geoffrey Archer. Mm. They represent signs of the Zodiac. So an um, archer is what uh, you would see in the last <laughs> picture. <laughs> no yeah. points there. Right. Wordsmiths, please pick a letter. Delta, please. Delta. First one coming up. What's fourth? Time starts now. Next. No, no wiser. Next. Rickets, I think. Yes. Bitterman. Yeah. B, B, D, and C. What do you get with it? It's Rickets, D, isn't it? I think. D is Rickets. I think so. Yeah. Rickets. Why would it be Rickets? Deficiencies of vitamins A, B, C, D. That's 
absolutely correct conditions that are brought on by deficiencies of vitamins A, B and C and fourth brought on by a deficiency of vitamin D, rickets. Mathematicians, please pick a letter. Zeta, please. Zeta, first one coming up. Time starts now. 30 equals Greece. Oh, good lord. Could that be years of Olympics? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, no, because there wasn't Olympics in 30. No, it could be codes or something. I don't know. Next. Uh, next, please. 21 equals Netherlands. Okay. okay. Oh, it's um, so, country codes, isn't it? So what? Telegraphic. What are you saying? Yeah. Yeah, so 13. 13. Three. I have no idea. It's not Britain. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> Might France as well guess a, miss a country. France yeah, guess France. Or should we get the next one? Roll um, that one. Yeah. Next, please. Okay. Should you try France? Yeah, yeah. go for it. Yeah. France. Yeah. 33 equals Lucky France. Lucky again. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, yes, they are international dialing codes and 33 is for France. Did you just guess a country from anywhere in the world there? Well, oh, we mm. didn't guess one of those three. We thought <laughs> uh, nice and close European countries, so France seems... Well, in a stroke of good fortune, France is correct, so that is two points to you. Wordsmiths, not a wide range of choice available. Try pizza, please. Why not? First clue coming up. Time starts now. Oh, come on, what was that? Is that time? Yeah, next. Next. Age. Can't age. Um, uh, uh, Different languages for the same thing. Um, better get next. Okay. Next. Epoch, oh, oh, right, it's... Um, geological. Yeah, so what would the next one be? Era. 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 I'm afraid not. Mathematicians, for a bonus? Period. Okay, period. Um, period. Period is the correct answer. Unlucky there, wordsmiths. You knew that they were geological time periods in order of increasing length, but fourth was period. So the scores at the end of round two. The wordsmiths have got three points, but the mathematicians will be able to work out that they've got a bit more than three ten points. <laughs> On to round three, the connecting wall. Here I'm going to throw a barrage of clues at the teams, or rather 16, which can be divided into four neatly connected groups of four. Wordsmiths, wall alpha or beta. We all go for beta. Beta. Now watch out for the red herrings, the clues that come into more than one category. There is only one perfect solution of four groups. And your time starts now. Right, um, US Vice President yes. Rockefeller, Bush Humphrey. Humphrey. Bush Humphrey Agnew. No. Um, okay. Uh... Things, uh, magazine, magazine that's ring for issue uh, no, no, arena, arena vogue for time. time no didn't like that um prospect was a magazine time. prospect vogue arena forbes time yeah. time try time time prospect vogue yeah that's a group um, right, Rock of, right. must be US Vice President or could, Rockefeller. Or, or could be, hang, could be Rockefeller, Forbes, could be sort of big business people. Fairbanks. I've got two Vice Presidents here, I think. I've got three, if that makes three. Thank you. Humphrey. And uh, We've Colin Powell. He wasn't, he wasn't the Vice he wasn't President. He wasn't the Vice President, no. Bush um, definitely was. So. Um, Try to fall to the read. No. no. Um, Fairbanks. He was an actor, or he. This, this uh, isn't there a park in, in the states called Fairbanks, or an air base? Uh, fo Forbes. Like air bases for some reason. Any, any air bases? Mm. Um, okay. Um, the Sean Vice President must be one of them. Um, we did try that, didn't we? No, it doesn't, doesn't work. Oh. We've about 30 seconds left. Could be time to start jabbing. Can you see Vice President? I don't think so, but... Rockefeller, um... No. Can 
connection. Hitler read. Um, Kate Bush. Uh, uh, Just a few seconds now. That's it. Yep. The time is up. Well, you've got one group, so I shall give you a point for that. I'll also give you a bonus point if you can tell me what connects Arena, Time, Vogue, Prospect. Magazines. They're all magazines. They're all magazines. And there are more bonus points available if you can tell me the connections between the other groups. Let's see what they were. Time to resolve the wall. Right, that second group. Issue, Mountain, Bush, Glass. Big, big issue. Not anything else. Mountain. No real lateral thinking required here. You can put the word burning before all of those. That right, was the yeah. connection there. Yeah. Third group, Fairbanks, Rockefeller, Agnew, Humphrey. I think that is US yeah. Vice Presidents. US, US Vice Presidents. That is the US Vice yeah, Presidents, yeah. You were Fairbanks. dancing yeah. around that group, yeah. but couldn't get the exact four. Yeah. And Reed, Lean, Forbes, Powell. Film director. Oh, oh, Powell, Powell and Pressburger. Um, um, yeah, yeah film directors. Well, I'll give it to you. They're British film directors. Michael yeah. Powell is oh, Michael that Powell. one. So, you get a point for the group that you identified. Three bonus points for the connections. It's a total of four points. Well done, wordsmiths. Let's bring in their opponents now. We've got a fresh connecting wall. We're going to see if the mathematicians can do a bit of simple division. 16 by 4. You know the drill, mathematicians? You're going to be getting the alpha grid, and your time starts now. OK. Um. <coughs> Philosophers. Really? Okay. Gunter Grass. And um, Green, possibly. Green. Looks like a certain thing. I don't know. Um, or Mill or Hay, I suppose. Mind. Yeah, Mill is possibly. So there might it be another one. Um, you know, lots of so three letter words. That's a bit silly, though. Let's see. Um, employee. Mm. Let's just try um, Berlin. Uh, Berlin, yes. Rabbit and an ass. Uh, they um, in Alice in Wonderland. Oh, I don't know about no. that. Uh, animals, but employee question uh, question mark green mill green mark not really Gunmark. Gunmark, really is it um, hammer blow knife blow mark blow. I mean hammer and knife are both sort of instruments uh, oh dear um, so, plenty of time question <sighs> time tea time um, hammer time and there's a minute gone employee time try that um, oh, I thought it was. I don't know. Um, I mean, Hugh, uh, green, time. Hugh time, S time, pop time, real time. Uh, mm, mm, uh, no, I don't know. Yeah. Um, Hugh, um, I mean, rabbit food, no. Nine. Gunsmith, locksmith, are those points? No, it's not spelled like that. Uh, no, it's not spelled like that, no. Uh, handgun. You've got a minute left. Hand. Oh, I don't know. Uh, Employee. I mean, Cardinal Hume, wasn't it? Or Basil Hume? There was a Cardinal. Um, Basil. <laughs> Just feel like doing something that's for yeah. random examples. Do what, what, three of what we had before and name some random ones. Oh. Okay, I have no idea what it is. I don't know. Um, Never mind. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, pepper Pot? No, no. You've got 30 oh. seconds left. Pe pepper Gum Mill. And Pepper. Pepper... Pepper gum, pepper mill, pepper pot. Pepper knife? Pepper... I keep guessing. Peter Rabbit. Peter... Um... Pepper... Oh, I don't know. Time's running out now. That's it. Well, you've got one group, so that's a point. I'll give you a bonus point if you can tell me the connection. Hay, green, tea, grass. Um, any ideas? Eight. Straw. But I can tell you that your parents will be mm. delighted you didn't spot the connection there. They are slang terms so for marijuana. <laughs> okay. I'm very pleased to see that they were completely unfamiliar to you. So, you can still get bonus points by telling me the other connections. Let's resolve the wall. Second group. Rabbit, knife, hammer, ass. Jack. Yeah, yeah. I don't with Jack. I think that's that Jack. is it. You can put Jack before all of them. Berlin, Hume, Mill, Lock. Are they all philosophers. Go for it. Yeah. yeah. Philosophers. Philosophers, not Cardinal Basil Hume, but David Hume, the philosopher we were looking for there. And Isaiah Berlin, so easily confused with Irving, not really <laughs> as much fun. 
Last group. Question pot gun employee. Perhaps um, of Mark, possibly. Or type. Or any words that sort of you can... The, the word's yeah. the same. Think, no, you're not going to get it. They are all things which can be fired. So it was a word connection, but it was sort of a pun there, a joke. <laughs> and the joke's on you because you got only one group and just two connections. So that makes a total of three points. Let's see what that's done to the scores. The wordsmiths have got seven points and the mathematicians have got 13 points. But that could all be turned on its head because in this next round there are dozens of points available and I will also deduct points for any incorrect answers. And I mean incorrect to the letter because it's the missing vowels round where we take well-known names or phrases, like for example only connect, we take out the vowels and then move the spacing around between the consonants. The clues will come in connected groups of four, but this time, teams, I'll tell you the connections and I want you to tell me what the clues are. So, fingers on buzzers, I can tell you that the first group are all quest objects. Mathematicians? Golden fleece. One point. Mathematicians? Philosopher's stone. One point. One ring? Yes, it is. One point. Wordsmiths? Maltese Falcon. One point to you. Next category, famous newspaper headlines. You don't know this one. It was the notorious mistake Dewey defeats Truman. Next clue. Crisis, what crisis? That's right, Sun headline, next clue. From The Guardian, he lied and lied and lied, next clue. Maths. Freddy Star ate my hamster. Everyone's favourite, one point to you. Next category, Nobel Peace Prize winners. Maths. Lech Walesa. In 1983, correct. In 1988, it was won by the United Nations Peacekeeping Forces. Next clue. Maths. Al Gore. In 2007. Next clue. Wordsmiths. Amnesty International. Yes, it was in 77. Next category, social dances. Wordsmiths. Paso Doble. One point. Wordsmiths? West Coast Swing. I can't give it to you because you'd need an extra W. So close. The East Coast Swing. And I'm afraid there are no bonus points available for spotting the connection between that sound and the end of the quiz. It means that with 20 points, the mathematicians are through to the next round. And with nine points, the wordsmiths are simply through. I'm sorry to say goodbye to you, wordsmiths, but congratulations to you, mathematicians. And I, inspired by the missing vowels round, am off to send a few text messages. Goodbye. Next tonight on BBC4, the only Connect smarts could come in really useful. Hunting for a connection between an army training exercise and a grim double murder in Valanda.